the triple beam balance. If you want to record the mass of an object, you got to use a triple beam balance. And before you use the triple beam balance, you want to make sure that nothing's on the pan, that's the pan, and that the zero line over here on the right is at zero. That's the zero line. When you're doing that, make sure that all the riders, these are the riders, are on zero. If they're not all on zero, then you can't start measuring yet. So make sure those are all on zero, nothing on the pan, riders are on zero, nothing on the pan, and the zero line is okay. And if you notice, the zero line is not okay. This happens a lot. So that's easy to fix. You can adjust it with the adjustment knob right here underneath the pan. To make the line, you want it to come down, then you're going to turn the knob towards you. If you need to make the line go up, then you would turn the knob away from you. You turn it up. Whatever you need to do, you do up or down. Whatever you need to do in order to make those two lines meet. Then your zero line to zero and you're ready to go. Okay? So once you have that done, by turning the knob and that's zeroed, then you're ready to go. Put your object that you want to get the mass of on the pan. Notice that the line went up. Okay, now we got to make it come down. To do that, you have to move these riders. Move it back and forth. They have to be in the notches. This one and this one have notches. And those riders have to sit in a notch. Okay, so you move those around. See, okay, that's not enough. That's not enough. Okay, that's okay, okay. You get all those to the right. And what that tells you is that this object is too heavy for this triple beam balance. There's a capacity. Capacity. It tells you right down here what the capacity is. How much it can hold. The maximum. And if you look at this, this has got 500 grams here. 100 grams there, and then there's 10 here, so 5, 6, 610 um, grams, that's all you can get on here. That means this object weighs more than that. So using a triple beam balance, probably not a good idea. You probably need something, you know, like maybe a digital scale or something. So let's try and find something that's a little less. It went down. Okay, it's too much. So you gotta move these riders around. Okay, so there. It's up. If I go to 300, it goes down. So that means it's more than that, less than that. So I'm gonna go and move this one around. Move that there, move these around. That's too much. It's down. Still going down. We're narrowing in on the mass of the object. Okay, so if I put it here, goes down, too heavy. I put it here. It's up. Not the right amount. So it's somewhere around 320. Now we come to this one up here in front. So you got to move this one around. You got to move this one around until you find that line lines up. Okay. Keep moving these around until you can get it just right.
So it always takes you a few minutes to figure out how to measure things, and then it takes a couple minutes to actually get it done. You have to move these things back and forth until you've narrowed down and gotten those two lines to be zeroed out. They match, they line up. Now this front rider does not have notches. It rides back and forth on that beam smoothly with no bumps so that you can do this. Fine adjustments. You're making adjustments that are less than a gram. So you look at that. Once you get it lined up, and it says zero. Once you get that lined up with zero, then you can read your number. So let's see how we would read this. You have to add this, this, and this together. This is easy. It's on 30. This is easy. I'm sitting on 300. So far we're at 330. This front one, if you notice the pointer, which is right here, it's not sitting directly on the 3. It's past that. So the way you would read this is that it's 3, 3.2. It's two little lines past the 2. So this is 3.2 grams. 300, 300 plus 30 plus 3.2 is 332, no, 333, excuse me, 333.2 grams. 332, 3.2 grams. 333.2. 333.2 grams. Now look at what I put on the pen. Is that the mass of the water? Mm-hmm. I don't think so. Mass of the water plus this container. So if you are asked to get the mass of some water, don't forget your water's sitting in a container. So the 333.2 grams is the mass of this water plus the container. Weigh the container empty, find out what that is, and then subtract those two masses and then you will know what the mass of that water is. Now mass is not the same as volume. We will get into volume in class. So make sure you take some notes down, make sure you label, draw a picture of your triple beam balance, label the pan, label the adjustment knob right there. Make sure you have three beams. One, two, three. Notice they have numbers on them. Those are important. And the zero line. Those are the things you need to remember to use a triple beam balance. Zero line, beams, with the riders. Knowing how to read them is important, otherwise your number is meaningless. And knowing exactly what's on the pan. Good luck. Bring your questions to class.